Okay, I'm back, family. I am continuing with verse 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. The whole world has been misled, have been lied to. Everyone has been taught that this idol that was made up by Constantine and the Council of Nicaea is the son of the true and living God, and he is not. The Most High made it plain here in Exodus chapter 4. Israel is my son, even my firstborn. That is Exodus chapter 4, verse 22. And I say unto thee, let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. And it came to pass, by the way, in the end, that the Lord met him and sought to kill him. Then Zephorah took a sharp stone and cut off the foreskin of her son and cast it at his feet. And surely a bloody husband art thou to me. So he let him go, and then she said, A bloody husband thou art, because of circumcision. And the Lord said unto Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. And he went and met with him in the mount of God, and kissed him. And Moses told Aaron all the words of the Lord who had sent him, and all the signs which he had commanded him. And Moses and Aaron went and gathered together all the elders of the children of Israel. And Aaron spake all the words which the Lord had spoken unto Moses, and did the signs in the sight of the people. And the people believed, and when they heard that the Lord had visited the children of Israel, and that he had looked upon their affliction, then they bowed their heads and worshipped. Okay. Now I have given you book verse and chapter the most high God is coming and the most high God is going to send Elijah the true Hebrew Israelites the true Hebrew Twelve tribes of of Israel. We are waiting on the creator of heaven and earth, our father, the holy one of Israel, and Elijah. Also, let's turn to Isaiah 43. Go to Isaiah 43. Isaiah is my favorite book because the Most High God is, is, is plain and simple. Anyone who can't understand a simple sentence, you're just in trouble. The Most High God made it plain in the book of Isaiah the whole book of Isaiah, that he himself is our Savior. And besides him, there is no other. The Old Testament comes before the New Testament, people. And what some of you are doing, you're still falling for the trick, and you're being fools. Now, there was a time when our ancestors, our ancestors, excuse me, wasn't allowed to read but there is no excuse now. We could open this book and study and seek the Most High God. Okay? So no one is going to have an excuse when the Most High God put those plagues on you. 
That's what he's doing right now. And you, some of you have been misled thinking that just because you have color in your skin. And because you are a Hebrew, that the Most High is not going to kill you. But he is if you're not worshiping him and only him. You cannot continue to worship idols and thank the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, is going to miss you. And not send that death angel to your house. He's going to send it. Yeah, you could go sit in your house all you want. But he's going to send that death angel. The death angel is out. It's out all day and all night. Okay? And you could cover your nose. You could cover your hands. You could, you could sit in that house and be covered up all you want. But if you are not worshiping the true and living Elohim, the creator of heaven and earth, him and him alone. If you're steady putting some Jesus or Jesus or whatever idea you're making up before the Most High God, as a matter of fact, those things you should not even be worshiping. If you're not worshiping no one but the Most High God, you're in trouble. And the Most High God, he don't have anything to do with the New Testament. Hmm. He has already saved us. He is our redeemer. He is our, we got one redeemer. And that's the most high God. That's why I'm taking you to Isaiah 42. And as a matter of fact, you can read all through Isaiah. And the most high repeatedly say, I am your savior. It's a simple sentence. And besides me, there is your, no other. This is the Lord God, God, the creator of heaven and earth speaking. This is not no idol in no testament speaking. He couldn't even save himself. So how in the hell do y'all think that he's going to save you? And as for the 12 tribes of Israel, we are in covenant with the creator of heaven and earth. You should not even be concerning yourself with anyone else. If anything, you should be debunking that New Testament, which is what I'm doing. I don't, I am no New Testament Hebrew. This daughter of Zion is strictly Old Testament because that's where my daddy is. Now, let's go to... Isaiah 43 and 11. I, even I am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved, and I have showed when there was no strange God among you. See, J-E-S-U-S, and all of those fake Hebrew names y'all making up, those are strange gods that you're making up. Okay? Therefore ye are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. The Lord is God. God is the Lord. Okay? Yea, before the day was I am. He, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. Can't no Jesus Christ deliver you from the true and living God, the creator of heaven and earth. And those of you that want to make up stuff and try to put something in, in there, mm -mm, the Most High is going to kill you. That's what he's going to do. I will work and who shall let who shall let it? Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Lord God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, is Israel's Redeemer. That's verse 14, Isaiah 43. Okay? The Holy One of Israel. That's our Redeemer. For your sake I have sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles and thy Chaldeans whose cry in the ships, I am the Lord. 
verse 15, I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power, they shall lie down together, they shall not rise, they are extinct, they are quenched as tow. The most high God, the creator of heaven and earth, is our Savior. Now, I also want to point out chapter 44, Isaiah 44, 24 through 28. Thus says the Lord thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, the Lord thy Redeemer, the creator of heaven and earth. I am the Lord that maketh all things. This is verse 24. Isaiah 44, 24. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretch forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth aboard the earth by myself, that frustrated the tokens of liars and maketh diviners mad, that turneth wise men back to that turneth wise men backward and maketh their knowledge foolish. Okay? That confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of the messengers. That saith to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decayed places thereof. Thus says to the deep, Be dry. And I will dry up thy rivers. That saith of Cyrus, he is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure. Even saying to Jerusalem, thou shalt be built and to the temple thy foundation shall be laid. All praises to the most high God of Israel. It's plain. Shalom. Please like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me here on Zion Israel TV. You can follow me on TikTok at Dorinda J. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. Shalom.